hate the short program, that you were a little unhinged, that you were a little nervous. But for you, that's the best way to be, which is the way you were not at Canadian Championships. Yeah, I think you're right. That uh, It takes that extra little bit of nerves to make you um, snap in your brain a little bit and um, not rely so much on just... Uh, your physical ability to jump, but maybe think about it a bit, and um, I think that might have saved me. Well, it certainly saved you, it saved our position as well, and it also saved all the Canadian fans because of a terrific performance. We hope that it's going to sustain into uh, the long program. Well, uh, momentum's built now. Let's take her. It's going to have to come right down now to that long program. Whoever does that is going to win the gold medal. Yeah, but coming into it, you hope for that situation, and um, you know, now that it's here, it's, it's, it's a great feeling. We wish you the very best of luck. You bet. Thank you. Brian Williams said right at the beginning of our program that Kurt Browning was a man that had Paris excited. Well, he certainly has all of us excited now, but Taller, I don't think I would have liked to have been a judge in that men's original somehow. Ted, it was a very, very difficult decision to make. My head is still spinning because I really don't know which way I would have gone. Kurt Browning was so stunningly virtuoso. Two triple axles in one program, really quite unheard of. We raved about the uh, short programs of Boitano and Orser last year, but here, two triple axles. With Bowman, the purest that I am, I felt the program was so absolutely flawless. I think artistically, I would have given him the edge, but really, they were both superb, and they both really should have been first. And they both did really put on marvelous performances. Well, earlier, of course, we saw the original program of pairs. Coming next, the pairs free skating. Yes.